In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize WooCommerce product pages using Beaver Themer. To get started, let's add a new theme layout. And we'll give it a name. And then we'll choose single for the layout type, since we want this to apply to our single product pages. Once we've created our theme layout, in the theme layout settings for the location, you can choose single products and then click Edit Theme Layout. Once you're in the Builder, you see, you'll see we have our default uh, single post layout um, loaded up and ready to go. And it does have some of the Woo data coming through, but this is mainly for a blog post. Um, you can build custom product layouts using the provided WooCommerce modules um, from scratch. So you can just drop these in and work out how you want that to look. Um, but you can also, to get started a little bit quicker, go up to Templates and choose General, and you'll see that we have a product template here that you can use to, as a starting point. And there you go. Now you see that we have um, what's essentially the default WooCommerce uh, product page look here. And it can all be edited using Beaver Builder. So now that we have this, let's just go ahead and customize it a bit. I'll go ahead and move my title up here so we can create like a hero bar for our product pages. And I'm going to go ahead and edit the row and we'll make that full width. And we will connect the background photo to the featured image for the post. And then we'll give it an overlay color so our text shows. Let's give it a little bit of padding too for some height. And there you go. We've now customized our single Woo WooCommerce product pages <clears throat> using Beaver Themer. Once you're done, just go ahead and click the Done button and publish your changes. And then we can hop into WP Admin and actually take a look at some of our products. As you'll see here, they've all picked up this theme layout that we've applied to them. Instead of loading the default WooCommerce product page layout, it's now loading in our theme layout. And the same is true for WooCommerce uh, product archives. I can go ahead and create a new theme layout. And we'll call it product archives. And then we'll choose archive for the layout type. For our location settings, we'll want to go down to products and choose product archive. And that's basically your main product shop page. You can also have this layout apply to your product categories and to your product tags. Once you've done that, click Edit Theme Layout. And just like our uh, single product layout, you're, you get the default basically blog post look here. Um, but if you go up to Templates, you'll see that we have Archive and then we have Product Archive. So you can go ahead and choose that. And you'll see now we have an archive page that looks a little bit more like um, a WooCommerce archive page would look. And this is a, our post module, so you can pop this open and you can customize, you know, the different layouts that you would like um, and choose some styling and style your different WooCommerce um, parts. And you can also choose what different WooCommerce parts are going to show up and things like that. And once you're done, just click Save and publish your changes here. And then we can go over into our uh, WP Admin here and take a look at some of our categories. For example, this clothing category, we can view that. And you'll see it now has our um, theme layout applied to it instead of the default WooCommerce uh, product archive layout. And that's customizing WooCommerce product pages using Beaver Themer.